So this is Dave W9WRL, and this is the new Yezu FTM400 dual band fusion radio. Fusion means that the radio will operate either in digital or analog, so it's a fusion of the two technologies. If you look at the screen right here where it says FM, currently it's in FM mode, the little bar on top of that means that it's in AMS mode, which means it will automatically switch uh, from FM to digital if somebody was to start switch, uh, transmitting on digital or vice versa if the radio was in digital and somebody else transmitted analog it would automatically switch so we can hear and communicate with either or. This radio is what I call a true dual band radio which means it has two receivers in it so you can uh, listen to either band or you could listen to two bands at once say two VHF or two UHF but you can receive two different frequencies at once whichever combination of bands you want to use and that's something not all dual banders have. Over here, the uh, red DX button uh, does two different things, or maybe more for that matter. But one thing, if you press it momentarily, you'll notice the mode is changing on the top display there. So now it's in voice wide, FM only, uh, digital narrow with AMS mode turned on. You see the bar above it, so there again it will automatically switch. The other thing it does is it operates the uh, wires X feature. So if I press and hold the DX button down, it'll transmit to the repeater and request to, communi or to connect to the uh, wires X system. So now we're connected to the W9QCR repeater. We were last connected to the uh, MinWiz fusion room. It's grayed out. You can't quite see it in this screen. It looks the same as the rest, but in real life it's grayed out, which means we're not connected currently, but we were connected before. So if I want to connect, um, first off this down arrow, if I push that, um, it will bring up this next little menu and these are basically shortcuts so I can program in whatever uh, rooms or nodes I want but if I want to see a list of all of them I just press all twice and it will transmit to the wires X system and it will request a list of all rooms and nodes okay so now it uh, when I press the all button it uh, commanded the wires X system to send me a list of all room, rooms and nodes and you can see on page one here, the America Link room, MinWiz, and a bunch of other ones. Uh, the one at the top, there, that's the All Japan room. That's the busiest one in the world. It's got 156 uh, members, uh, you know, uh, nodes, repeaters, or individuals connected to it. And America Link is number two, and so on and so forth. So if I want to connect to one of these, like uh, let's try MinWiz. I'm going to highlight MinWiz, press the button. And it will connect to MinWiz. That's the Minnesota Wisconsin room. For custom jobs. Well, anyways. And then there's somebody talking already. Getting pretty lucky at getting over to this place. That's it's a fairly busy room. Free, and they are not all full of nails. So, so that's how you. Uh, let me turn the volume down. The the so on, then I can go back like this. It makes quick work with the chainsaw. And that's basically the uh, connection room. And you can see Shannon is in there, N0ANC. He's a nice guy. He's on there pretty often. And a second, uh, whoever's going to key up next, will come up with their name on there. Here it comes. That's K0CQW. I don't know that person. But anyway, it shows we're connected to MinWiz. There's 41 people connected to it, or rooms, nodes, or repeaters, I should say. Okay, so now I disconnected from that room because I want to show you how the uh, the news feature works. So I'm going to push the down arrow again, go into my shortcuts, which I highlight C1, it's the one I'm using. Press the button up here. It'll command the system. It'll come back with uh, my shortcuts that are listed. I just have two. I have uh, MinWiz and America Link. So I'm going to go down, highlight America Link, press the button, and it's going to connect to America Link. And if nobody's talking, it'll come back with the news options. It only does that if nobody's talking when you connect. All right, so nobody's talking. So right now, there we go. Now there's the news. So I can go to local news or international. Let's try international. I'm not real wild that they use the name news. There's one of my other repeaters, and there's Brian Keen up saying hi. Okay, so news station. Let me select that. A little hard to see sometimes unless I hold the camera just right. Okay, so here we are in the voice. Uh, you can see it says voice, messages, or pictures. 
So let's go down to pictures and select that. And now it's there again, commanding the system for a link or for a list of all the uh, pictures in there. No data. Must not be anything in that one. All right, so we're going to go back and select local news instead of international. We'll see if there's anything in there. So that's now we're on the local, which means the W9 QCR repeater. I'm trying to get this angle. There you go. Now you can see it says we're connected to W9 QCR. So I'm going to press the button to select that. And now it comes back with news station. So I'm going to select that. And we're going to go to download. I need to switch hands. And we're going to go to pictures. And now it's going to bring up a list if there's any pictures in there. And it says there's one for me, but I think that one doesn't work. Let me give it a second and see what happens. It's downloading it right now. Okay, so it finished downloading that picture. Um, I'll zoom in on it. It's just a graphic that one of the other guys uploaded from the uh, Woodford Repeater Association down around uh, Peoria. Let's see what else we can find here. Okay, let's try uh, voice messages. So I highlighted voice. I'm going to press the button. And it's talking to the system, asking it for a list of any voicemails. There's a bunch of them in there for me. I'm trying to get uh, some of the local guys here to start using this stuff. But I don't think anybody has. Uh, this first one here, I think, is a message I left for Hart KD0OEB. He just got his radio yet, doesn't have it ready to go yet, but he'll be finding it. So I select it, hit the button, and it's going to take a few seconds to download it. OEB, this is W9WRL. Welcome to the world of digital radio. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. W9WRL, clear. So there's a short message I left for Hart. Um, so, like I say, you can upload and download voice messages, picture messages, or text messages to each other. And kind of lastly, uh, like I say, if you look at the screen, it'll show you we're connected to the America link. And there are 90 people, nodes, or repeaters connected right now. Nobody's talking on it. Um, so if I want to disconnect from this node and connect to a different one, a couple different ways you can do it. You could just bring up your list of nodes. You don't actually have to disconnect from this one. You can bring your list of nodes up and connect to another one, and that'll automatically disconnect you from, you know, America link to whatever new one you're going to connect to. But if I want to manually disconnect, I pick up my microphone, and you've got the asterisk button here. All you do is hold it down for a couple of seconds. It causes the radio to key up and disconnect you. Simple as that. That's about it on this segment. This is Dave, W9WRL. Hope you guys enjoy this.